All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, and I brought with me today a really good friend and an old friend. If you recall, and if you've watched my channel for any length of period of time, this gentleman has been in several of the videos when we were first starting out. We were doing the, the, the 300, the yeah. 300 yard challenges. Uh, what was the one thing you told me? Oh, man, uh, the futures for uh, yeah, I can't isotopes remember. and yeah, something like other. when I had my ACOG, and yeah. that was like the newest race. That was the newest thing. So, anyway, uh, Lance has developed a new company, and I decided I really wanted to help him out. So one day he presented to me a new sling, and it's a sling that he has designed. And I told him, I said, well, you know what we can do? Uh, why don't we do this? Instead of me trying to do a review on it, because really and truly, I don't use a sling. I shoot competitions. Uh, we don't use a whole lot of slings in there. As a matter of fact, I really can't recall the last time I used a sling. And I'm old school with the A2 uh, when we had the slings. We were we were really high speed low drag when you put the sling through the front sight post and wrapped it around and you, and you carried it like this. So that was high speed low drag back in the day. Things have developed. And one of the things, uh, as my everyday carry, I carry this is the Wildebeest. And on the Wildebeest, I have this Magpul, uh, what is it, MS4? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so. I like the MS4 because you do have a couple different things. You can do a two-point sling, three-point sling, single-point sling, that whole thing. I guess things have developed where using a QD attachment point is not cool anymore. So Lance developed a company called Morgan Made Solutions. Morgan Made Solutions. And I told him, okay, let's do this. Instead of me trying to show everybody how to use this sling, why don't you come out here and show how it's set up, show the advantages, and over what we have, like a MS4 sling here, uh, and go from there. And then we'll put it into action, show you guys how it works. Uh, we're sitting there at the range, so why not? So why yeah. don't I just turn it over to you? You show everybody how it goes. All and right. uh, I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's happening here because they're, uh, it's really cool 550 cord action, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to attach it old school. Um, nothing wrong with that. All right. Beats $14 a piece for Magpul QDs. So. Okay. So let me do this. I'll bring the camera in. Be right back. Hold on. All right. So what we got here on KB32's uh, pistol is an MS4 sling from Magpul. And it, like many slings on the market, does one of two things well. It'll either open up really easily or it'll close really easily. But you got to fight it on the other way. So as we see here, it opens up easily. But then when I get to a certain point, it binds up. And you really got to muscle through it. That's no good. So what I wanted to do make a sling that is seamless both ways. All right, so I leave my sling ends, let's unpackage this real quick, they're open with tri-glides. So I don't sew in any QDs, it's open for the end user. You can use HK clips, whatever, there's so many different attachment methods for slings. I've become more fond of using 550 paracord, it's cheap, you can get a whole roll of it, 500 feet for like uh, 13 bucks at Walmart. So. There's that going for it. All right, so step one, cut some 550 cord. Step two is to tie a knot so that we leave a loop. So when we go to attach it to the rear, I'm gonna just run it right through. The knot's gonna catch on the QD section of this SBA3 brace. Take the rear section of the sling. So what we're going to do is fish this through the uh, 550 cord and back to the tri-glide. And we can go back through or we can tape it. Then for the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just fish this through the rail, through some open sections, just through some of these cutouts on the rail. So once we have it through, I'm going to take the knotted end and run it underneath the loop. Take the forward section of the sling, run it through, back to the tri-glide. We'll just go ahead and double back on this one. All right. So from there we have the sling attached and with this the adjuster tab it's very simple pull back or pull forward almost no effort involved to 
to further adjust it to my body, we have got this rear triglide here. Pull it towards the center if you're big and tall. Pull it towards the end if you're tiny and small. And then you can always cut it to the length if you need to get rid of more material. But my idea was this will fit just about any rifle, shotgun, carbine out there and then some. So it's easier to take away material than it is to add it after you've bought it. So that's the uh, 550 paracord way to, uh, to attach to a rifle. And the nice thing is you're not limited to wherever the QD uh, slots are on um, your rifle, pistol, or the rail section. Some of them don't have QDs. You can put it wherever you, uh, you feel like having it. That's pretty cool. You know, one of the things that I like about this whole situation is that it's simplistic. Uh, this is a very, what type of material you're using here? So that's uh, 55 301 mil spec webbing. It's a uh, mm -hmm. heavy abrasion resistant, water resistant uh, coated webbing. Mm -hmm. And the stitching is all number 69 uh, nylon bonded webbing, which is also a, a dare I, begrudgingly, mil spec thread. And then the, uh, the paracord is 550 paracord. Uh, there are seven stitches on each of these slings and every single one of them is double stitched. Mm -hmm. And you're making these by hand. Yeah, yeah, everyone is made by me. So. Right there in uh, Pennsylvania, you know, right over there, there in, in the, uh, you know, the central part over there. Yeah. So right. it's a pretty cool thing. I noticed you got some little tether straps here that keep it uh, tethered in there. Uh, why don't we do this real quickly? Um, you can take yours yeah. and shoot it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to leave this the way it is. I like it. Simplistic. Uh, you can stow it pretty yeah. easily. Show me how you... So how I stow it I think, is I run it back over the brace or stock and this will have to adjust a little bit more to your body. Yep. But It's hanging pretty yeah. loose so we can adjust yeah, we'll, it quite a bit. Yeah, so we'll run it back so that it actually is taut against that. And then it's stowed on the... He said taut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that way it's stowed here. Let me Let's go ahead and do that. We can bring this. That's actually, I'd have to cut it and adjust it because I think you got this thing in it set at the, uh, the longest length it could be. But that's let me the, show, yeah. show everybody how you're doing it on yours. So this is my 14.5 inch rifle. So how we have it is we just run it back over the buttstock and then over the grip. So when I go to stow it, we got it loose. Run it over, and then just pull it tight. And then we can just move this up, and easily stowed. Can still use the rifle, can still manipulate everything, the bad lever, safety. So you can bad still- Bad levers. Yeah, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well guys, uh, let's do this. We're gonna run over here real quickly. Uh, Lance is gonna show you some of the advantages of uh, shooting this thing. And then uh, transitioning for doing some pistol drills. So let's get to it. You ready? All right. All right, here we go. So, what we're going to do now is uh, just a quick uh, cold start drill that I like to do when I go to the range. Starts with uh, um, emergency reload. We'll do a build drill. We're at about 20 yards and we'll, we'll just see the employment of the sling. So, here we go. Finish him. All right, so we're just going to go over how easy it is to uh, sling on your back. Uh, should you need complete hands free, you know, you just drop something, whatever, you got to put a guy in zip ties, who knows? Who knows what y'all do when you're LARPing? Who LARPing. Lurp, LARP. Live action role play. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm just thinking uh, LARP. Yeah, LARP. Just manipulating it. Yeah. So, again, it's just, there's no binding at any point. 
even if this uh, gets bumped into the uh, opening up adjustment position, the sling is not going to go out on you. No, oh, wrong way. So if you need even more room just to swim out of it completely, again. All right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for coming out here and showing everybody your sling. Now, what is this thing? What are you selling these things for? 35 bucks shipped for the cool guy colors, so multicam, black multicam, any kind of pattern. Um, and then 25 bucks shipped for your normie colors, black, OD green, ranger green, gray, yeah. you know, whatever I can I, get my hands on. I think I like it just because of the simplicity of it, the ease of operation, uh, and the uh, versatility of it. Uh, it does give you the options of doing a lot of cool things. But again, man, thanks for coming out here. Hey, thanks for having uh, me. You got a website? Yeah, um, so I have uh, Big Cartel Web Store, uh, getting that up and operational. For now, everything is uh, made to order through mm -hmm. uh, my Instagram page, which is uh, Morgan underscore made underscore solutions. We can go ahead and put a link somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, so. we'll put a link down below, or I'll put it on my, on my Instagram. And I also have, uh, also have a YouTube channel, so, you know. Yep. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Same thing, Morgan Made Solutions. Morgan Made Solutions. How about we put everybody on the YouTube down yeah. below? Get on over there, subscribe to him. Uh, see, check him out doing all kinds of uh, cool drills. But in any case, man, thanks a lot for coming by. Yeah, thanks for having me. And thanks for the uh, sling on my my little uh, wildebeest thing. We're going to be using that from here on out. It's right Boy 32. Hey, listen. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free, and we love American Made. And they're burning something. Look at the ashes coming down. Or it's Mount St. Helens or something like that. Go with 32, Lance Made Solutions. Morgan Made. Whatever. I'm out of here. Morgan Made Solutions. <laughs>